with the Redskins and Haskins, like, you know what Case Keenum is. If right. you, the narrative right now is, well, they got a tough schedule to start the season. Like, all right, maybe that's true. Maybe you don't want to play him for a couple of games. But, I mean, when was the last guy that really got his confidence shook and then was bad? It was like the car guy, right? Right. Well, I'm sure there's probably other instances. But, I mean, if you, can't, if you can't make it through that type of adversity of getting just beat up your rookie year, right. then maybe you're not going to be a long-term successful quarterback anyway if you can't mentally get through that. Right. If you're just going to get shook. So I hate that argument of like, oh, we don't want to throw him out there because we don't want to like get his shake his confidence and throw him to the wolves. It's right. like there's... You got to be able to persevere through that because there's going to be way more adversity throughout right. your career that you're going to have to get through. Than if a I was bad the Redskins, season. I would just stay. I would just play Haskins unless you're just seeing that he's really not ready to play throughout preseason and, and other play. Which, which we'll I, get to the Redskins in a second here. Yeah, but, I don't think that's the case though. I mean, we can go ahead and talk about Haskins. I mean, well, let's finish up with the Giants first. I was just going through these. We already took it to the Dolphins and quarterback situations <laughs> around the league here with the with the younger guys and just kind of that, that's basically the big talk right now yeah is you know I, I i don't could you play case keenum sure could you could he could he maybe put you in positions to win ball games probably but you know what case keenum well most likely it is, is a little different there with the redskins because jay gruden is fighting it's, it's for, his coaching job, for his job and you know flores has got time you know right. they're not gonna that, fire him that's this a great year. point and that's a that's would be it would be another argument on flores side. like the, just, you don't have play to play fucking games. rosen right, right. You, you gotta you gotta try to put you need to look at this in a two or three year window see right. if you can put something together and keep a head coaching job right. rather than the Redskins are a terrible organization, terribly terrible. run, terribly handled. Like everything's shitty. Like, do I think Jay Gruden's a bad coach? Not necessarily. I think he's a good play caller. But I mean, I don't know that he's a good coach. I'm kind of, I'm a little up in the air on the Redskins situation. I'd probably play Haskins to start and just and see what you got. Let him get a full year in. Like, but, yeah. And but the, Jay can't. But you, Jay can't afford it's not, that. It's not Eli. Right. It's not Eli Manning in front of you over there. True. It's Case Keenum. So, yeah. I mean. Uh, and everyone if forgets, in, like before Alex Smith went down, this is pretty like it wasn't anything sexy going on over there. They were battling a bunch of injuries, which they have the last two years. They've been like the most injured team in the league over the last two years, the Redskins. And th there's well, a there's the a decent them, there's but. a decent squad over there. Obviously, the left tackle not being there sucks. Another example really of how bad that organization mismanagement sucks. of right idiots. If you're the Redskins, you want Haskins to play, but if you're Jake Gruden, you just want to try and win a game or two here. 